What's going on dudes? Sean here, Hammerhead Garage. Been a while. I've been busy. I'm sure you guys have been too. Anyway, the reason for the video today is I promised you guys flow numbers for these heads. I finally got them back from the machine shop. And there they are. All done and all shimmed up and whatnot. And was able to get over yesterday and get them flowed. A buddy of mine um, owns the flow bench. It's a super flow. And um, we were, it was all the tests were done at 28 inches of water, which is like the industry standard. Um, I wasn't able to videotape it. I did ask him, but the company wouldn't even allow me out back to sh when he was doing it. It's probably because something to do with this COVID stuff. But anyway, I'm not going to get into that old kettle of fish. But I've got some numbers here for you. Uh, on a low lift head like this, uh, fairly low performance. I mean, compared to like... What I mean by high performance is like something that's really ass kicking, like 600 plus lift and uh, 200 plus cc runners and like 12, 13 to 1 compression. That's what I consider high performance. But for a street engine, let's say, my motor, um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. We did get some gains from uh, from the friggin' uh, porting work that we did. So that, that uh, time spent doing that was well worth it. Again, to remind people, these are the Flowtech 180 cc. Uh, small block forward heads with the 58 cc combustion chambers so anyway enough blah 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 let's get into it here's what I ended up getting <clears throat> you can see on the sheet here so hopefully I gotta get this in the view here but you can see numbers out of the box okay and then ported on the bottom so I went from, I didn't even start at 100 left, a lot of guys do. I started at 200 left and went right to 700 left. So out of the box, those are the numbers. 112 on the exhaust at 200, 146 at 300, 160 at 400, 166 at 5, 168 at 6, and 168 at 7. Intake 121, 171, 215, 222. 239, 241 at 700. Okay, and now we get into the ported numbers. Uh, 100, 113, 300, or sorry, 200, 113, 300, 152, 400, 168, 500, 189, 600, 192, 700, 193, and that's on the exhaust. Intake side is 123 at 200. 184 at 300, 224 at 400, 239 at 500, 600 left is 241, and 700 is 244. So we gained 23 CFM on the exhaust side and 17 CFM on the intake side. So those are pretty good numbers for some basically light porting work. And as you can see by light porting work, it's just that. It's not super hogged out or anything, and they're not race ports, but they're definitely been worked over a little bit by me. Uh, so I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more, to be completely honest, but in any case, now's the math uh, portion of the show. I know how you guys love math. Me too. So anyway, we'll do some math. You want to figure out what these heads will flow and what kind of power they'll make. Well, there's a formula for that. Basically... Horsepower equals CFM times 0.2575 times the number of cylinders. That will tell you. So we'll take our flow numbers here at 600 left, 241. Let's plug that into the old calculus here. 241. And we'll multiply that by 0.2575 times 8 cylinders. 8 equals these heads are capable of 496.46 horsepower. That's the potential. It's 500 horse, you might as well say. That's what these will flow. Um, so anyway, as it shows here, the number, the reason I have it circled at 500 is because that's the area of where the cam is gonna be lifting. So as you see by the ported numbers, at 600 left, there's quite a bit more power left on the table here, as far as airflow is concerned. So what's that? What that's showing me is that this engine combo could benefit from lifting the valves a little bit higher. 
Uh, so I could possibly pick up maybe 20, 30 horsepower on the other end by lifting the valves, let's say um, 550 or greater. But when you do that, there's always always a, um, a, a compromise because everything in, in life, including horsepower, is a compromise. I may lose some drivability. I'll for sure lose some miles per gallon. And I may lose uh, um, and have to switch to a, a higher spring rate. These springs here are only rated at 550 lift. I think the open pressure is 130, or, and, or the seat pressure is 130, and the open pressure is 330. So I can't push it much further than that. Um, I think they're going to be actually pretty amazing for what they are. And th with those numbers, we just did the math, and it shows that they're capable of 500 horse. So I think we got a winner, boys. Anyway, stay tuned, fellas. I won't bore you to death with any more for now, but stay tuned. Um, the next video, hopefully, will be me getting them on the truck here. Also, I added the, the, the scoop to the front of the Ranger here. I made her functional, too. I don't know. I like it. What do you guys think of it? Thumbs up for Warhammer. Stay classy.